This video claims to know what happens to your body when you start jumping rope every single day. And the facts get crazier and crazier throughout the video. Let's see what happens to your body when you jump rope every single day. We have a decent amount of experience with cardio, so yep. let's see if this list is true or false. Cheap exercise, the skipping so, rope is cheap and doesn't need any expensive equipment. A jump rope doesn't need to be expensive. No, true. They're also weighted jump oh, ropes. Oh, you have a lot of different jump ropes. You have like the speed jump ropes where you go really fast, the really thin one, if it hits your toe, you're just basically dead. After 10 minutes, fun activity. <laughs> I mean, the first minute is fun, but afterwards then it becomes hard. Yeah, exactly. And then you start messing up because you get tired and then it's not fun anymore. Yeah, so <laughs> jumping rope and the full body coordination it requires can be challenging at first, definitely. A lot of people will definitely be disappointed. They think, Oh, easy, I can I do this. Do but I mean, you need to get the timing right with the rope and you jumping over it. Calories, you will start burning calories right away. Jumping rope can burn 200 to 300 calories in 15 minutes. That is true. Definitely. That's true. Definitely, yeah, it burns a lot. 800 yeah. calories an hour is pretty achievable, but you would be very dead still. <laughs> After 30 minutes, warm up. It can be an efficient warm up. 10 minutes jump rope is enough for warming you up. Exact, five minutes. No, five even. After, After two days, exercise equipment. One of the easiest pieces of exercise equipment to take on your vacation. But how is this related to day two? After two days, we are going on a holiday. <laughs> Apparently. And we can easily take a jump rope because it's portable, lightweight, and it's all true. <laughs> After four days, shoulder strength. Oh, this is so underestimated. When I do jump rope, my, my shoulders get tired more easily than my legs. And actually, the next one, with jumping rope, you're working your entire body. People build pretty decent physiques with just jumping rope, like they look very healthy. And shredded. After six days, muscles. Well, it's not the best exercise for building muscle. No. And it's also more endurance, like you're, you're, you're it's more of a conditioning workout. And then after the six days, you uh, need to subscribe need to, to this subscribe. channel. After eight days, skin. Post-workout glow is one of the best glows one can get. Exercise like skipping will always give you a, a healthy and glowing, blushing skin. What? Facts. <laughs> Facts. Uh, yeah. Sure, I'm glowing. After 10 days, bone density. You have like impact on your bones and that strengthens your bones. After 15 days, explosive power. You're definitely working explosiveness. People actually underestimate the role of the calf when trying to jump high. It's crazy, like you yeah. really need to push off with your feet to create that extra height and jumping rope is the perfect exercise for this. After 20 days, your concentration. Skip 100 times. You're getting into a mental flow state. Because if you lose focus, then you just mess up. After 25 days, fatigue. You can expect some soreness in the calf. In the, in, in the legs. In the leg. Shoulders. Shoulders also, yes. Definitely. Definitely. Week to 10 days, it will be the worst. Calmness at day 30. Here we go. You're now adapted. It will improve your ability to stay calm. Wait, what? I think for people like boxers or people who do this like every single day for a decent amount of time, this could actually get you into a zone. After one month, improve coordination. Especially when you start to do like the, 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 the crazy stuff. Like try to do this or like one leg. The next one, routine. You got used to jumping with rope every day that becomes a priority for you every day. If you can do it for longer than 30 days, then it really has become a priority and a habit of yourself. After two months, 60 days, Injury risk, why here? Probably your injury risk is lower because you're yeah. like skipping every day, everything is more resilient. So no, I don't agree with this one. With your improved coordination from jumping rope, you will be less likely ah. to hurt you. They keep doing this to us. Also, don't forget to like the video. After two months, increases agility. That's also the reason basically why boxers do it. Exactly. Cows! If you envy calves that pop, jumping rope is a fun way to get showstoppers of your own. This also does depend on your diet, if you're not eating high protein enough or also not even enough calories. After four months, body flexibility? Body calm and flexible, this is, I mean, this is weird. I don't know what they mean. Well, so broad, I mean, what is flexibility in this term and what is calmness? I mean, after five months, balance. That's you, a long time, a long by the time. way. That's a very long time. Starting yeah. from day one, you want your balance, yeah. Your core, your core. Get those abs. After half a year, six months, meditative. Although it's pretty intense, jumping rope can actually be a very meditative activity. That's yes, kind of what yes, I meant. Yes. Also the sound of just like, tick, 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 tick. So after seven months, stamina. Yeah, you will definitely create some endurance. After eight months, spatial awareness? Um. Uh... Yeah. I see where they're going with this. Yes. Knowing where your body is in space is related to jumping rope. It could be true. Let's let's it leave it at that. Be. After 11 months, you will gain belly fat. Belly fat? Wow. Wow. <laughs> you will gain. High intensity interval training exercises help you reduce belly fat without diet and strengthen your abdominal muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? You can't spot reduce. It's like lo losing fat or gaining fat. It's not on a specific body part. 
You, People, how many times <laughs> I need to say this? Okay, so let me get this straight. It is sort of like already strengthening your abs without doing specific work for your abdominals. And because you're burning more calories, you don't need to change your diet. But an important thing with this challenge is that a lot of people might be doing this challenge and they might get hungrier. And then and start eat eating more. more, yes. After, After one, one year, year heart, heart health. health. Regular exercises really helps your heart health and prevent diseases. Oh, we're going from one year to two years. Oh, and you're smarter. Jumping rope can make you smarter? I need an explanation. You'd rather spend your time on studying. The word smarter is so weird here. After two and a half years, mental health. Skipping rope could help a lot of people with their mental health. Just because it will get them into exercising. You're feeling healthier, your body feels healthier, your mind feels healthier. Not after two and a half years though, that's kind of de demotivating. That's uh, very long, yes. Rest assured, this is gonna happen from day one. We highly recommend this challenge. And there's nothing wrong with failing, especially when you try it out for the first time. Except if you maybe feel like these people, these are the funniest and craziest workout fails that you will ever see. Subscribe, smash, link, and bell.